focus. As Mumbai's battle for clean air continues, the civic body is taking all steps possible to tackle the toxic air. The seven-member committee appointed to suggest measures to control dust in Mumbai has submitted its final report to the BMC. The report has recommended to form three task forces at ward level to implement the air pollution mitigation action plan in the city. From 1st of April, BMC mobile teams will go to construction sites like buildings, road bridges to check if guidelines are being followed. Now, crackdown on builders have also been planned. As per the strategy by the seven-member panel, if builders do not have self-certification, then the notice will be issued to them and they have to stop the construction immediately. talk to us more on this, I have Gurfan Beg, the founder project director of Suffer and Bhagwan Keshbad, founder CEO of Vatavaran, joining us on the broadcast today. Thank you to the both of you. Good evening. I will come to you first, uh, Bhagwan Keshbad. I think the big question here, what everybody wants to know is what are the pertaining points? Is the reason for uh, Mumbai to be choking at this point of time? Because we do know a city like Mumbai might not have uh, the infrastructure in terms of having factories within the city. So if you could share with us your viewpoints about the same. So, uh, if we see that the first Clean Air Action Plan for the city of Mumbai was made, and it was explicitly mentioned that 33% the emission is been contributing because of the industry, and with along with uh, the oil refineries and the thermal power station in the city of Mumbai. And uh, second, of course, uh, we uh, everyone knows that the the uncontrolled transport system is also been responsible for around 30 percent that the the air quality deteriorated because of this and the third factors which has been the controversial and also been people have been experiencing in each ward each region in the city of mumbai and it was uh, construction demolition dust and the uh, every area the citizens were being uh, raising the grievance in the ward office in the police station to the their legislators to address this issue, but they were not finding the, the the solution. So these were the major, I can say, the emission load in the city of Mumbai. And of course, waste and the other factors were also been part of that. But yeah, I'm just pausing here and... Right. Let me take that point across to I'm Gurfan Bey. Gurfan, um, you know, since you are, of course... Um, yes, you are. I'm going to come back to you. Uh, Gurfan, you're, of course, the director of Suffer. Now, how does one efficiently track these numbers? Also, you closely work with the Mumbai Control uh, Pollution Board. So what do you see the challenges at this point of time as well for the citizens? The, uh, the, the actions uh, which have been now pointed out, uh, that would have been taken, in fact, four months back. We knew it in uh, October itself that the natural cleansing mechanism is going to be in trouble. And that is the reason that uh, the sources of pollutants need to be controlled more than what normally we do it. And for that, the most important thing which remains, uh, uh, you know, unabated is that implementation strategy. So implementation doesn't happen. Infrastructure is one of those. A lot of dust is coming out from that. But uh, for your information that the PM2.5, which are the most toxic particles, where the dust contribution is relatively less as compared to PM10, but most of the contribution comes from the, uh, you know, the tra transport uh, and stagnation traffic, uh, and then transport when it goes to unpaved area, then dust emissions are uncontrollable. You know, it get keep on suspending before it gets suspended. Uh, you know, settled down, it goes off. Of. So as uh, Ali told by. Uh, uh, my colleague, uh, that 30% uh, contribution comes from transport. That is given a fact that transport is running in a normal speed. There is no stagnation. There is no traffic jam and all those. But then if that happens, that the hot spots uh, increases severely. And in Mumbai is, uh, you know, uh, Mumbai infrastructure geography is such uh, that uh, near the traffic junctions, hot spots, there are a lot of residents uh, residential big, big colonies are there. Unlike many other cities where the colonies are in a side base, so the hot spots are. So hot spot right there, there is a traffic jam right there, high rise building, pollution will not only affect what is there in the ground, but right from zero kilometer, you know, zero meter to up to about 100 meter. And the whole complete column is getting poor. So whoever is living even in the higher story buildings also will get affected.
so whatever the uh, it is very you know, as we speak of people getting affected gurfan bhai i'm just going to come back to you but kesh but if we speak about uh, these numbers as well are concerning uh, but is also raising mm-hmm. points about health concerns as well so if you could talk to us on that front too um kesh but if you could unmute yourself so uh, see uh, nivedita uh, the december jan and month uh, and also in feb and march doctors has been admitting uh, constantly through the all the media newspapers and the channel that more than 80% opd patients are from respiratory disease it's cold cough and the other respiratory ailments as well so it is evident that uh, whether it's a public hospital or private hospitals everywhere all these cases are coming up every home children uh, elderly citizens and everyone is been suffering people are been impacted severely and even this has been pressure built on the legislators the mulund res legislators has raised this portion in the maharashtra winter assembly that the citizens were behind to take the action against the construction and the developer development agency so that's how the pressure the people are been agreed uh, in terms of health and even the newborn babies are not safe in the city of mumbai right um, mr beg as of course uh, you know keshpat goes on to make those significant points in your opinion these sops that have been set now do you think they're enough or one has to take more action in your point of view what is the way going forward now see this is a initial step welcome step but then with this fight is not uh, it has to go long way we need to have a uh, short term medium term and long term goals the short term related this is something which is being taken is a medium term in fact that uh, you are but then the implementation strategy need to be but then the long term goal is something which is a very permanent we need to sit back and see that this is the priority area we need to attack this particular thing first then come to the second and third and fourth like that and for which strategies need to be planned although under the ncap uh, this was the point uh, but somehow the implementation the strategy are you know being seen once again and unless at the last moment some this kind of a war footing kind of a uh, you know committees and these things are formed then only it starts working so this is something we need to be very sincere and we need to be thinking it uh, all throughout the year what happens now that during the winter time pollution certainly goes because of the temperature and many other things now lanina impact which was there it is disappearing so in any case pollution is going to be yeah. better as compared to what it was so now the point which is the step you are taking is not going to be shown so, so you know the impact of this is not going to be realized as much as it could have been realized two months back or three months back and those who are irreversible kind of a damage who have already got it done those who were already acute asthmatic or something they must have got a irreversible kind of a damage so you can't go back to that particular thing so in my opinion there has to be chalk down plan short term medium range and long term plan long term plan should include the unpaved areas the roads which are leading to the refineries or construction activities there when the loading and unloading takes place sprinkling of the water is must water is precious we should not uh, do it everywhere but then on those hot spots of uh, dust it should be there the smelling of the traffic that is one of the most uh, dangerous thing which is happening is the traffic jams are increasing in a in fact in a traffic jam person do not know when the red light will become green and then the engine is never closed tuning is not proper so that that time the hot spots at that time the fossil fuel burn is 10 times more than what in a normal going traffic just for the information for you that during the last 3 months up to february what we calculated is overall 30% increase in pm 2.5 as compared to last 10 years average which is whopping because 25 to 30% we were targeting decline under nk in 5 years now we are getting suddenly a 30% hike in 2023 20, 22 23 and that is something we need to for the one uh, war footing level thinking that nature has taken the natural advantage from this places 
which may take at any time. Hence, we should not relax. Right, Mr. Bake, like you make those significant points. This is, of course, the first step in terms of the SOPs. But like you said, small, mid-term and long-term plans is what is the need of the hours. So on that note, I want to thank both of you for taking the time out and speaking to us on Mirror Now. And uh, we're also slipping in a short break. Uh,